everyone. Good morning. Welcome back to Rush's Game Adventures and more specifically, welcome back to Watch Talk. Well, the episode 1 for Watch Talk did really well for itself. The, the response that I got from all the b-roll that I had in the video was pretty good. I also gained a little bit of subscribers, so thank you for that. And welcome to episode 2. A quick uh, wrist check before I begin. I am wearing my RM011 Richard Mule with a carbon fiber casing on it. It came in like that, so I haven't done anything on it. But we're not here to talk about that. We're, talk we're here to talk about this piece of art. Well, this, this is my 2014, uh, 2015, I don't remember, but I don't remember when this was made, but I bought this in 2019 in December when I was visiting India. And this is my Ulysses Narden, or you'll see Narden, however you pronounce it, I'm pretty sure I'm butchering the name, but this is my Ulysses Narden ha uh, Hammerhead, Hammerhead Shark. This watch is a one off. 300 and I have the number 8 on it It is a hammerhead Well, the name of the watch is hammerhead and it's inspired by a hammerhead chart as you can see on the back of the watch like It's a, it's a beautiful piece of art the casing the casing is um It's it's pretty it's a pretty different story with this case like last time the with my AP, the, the case was made out of aluminum or... No, the case was made out of steel when it was uh, brushed, brushed steel. And it looked pretty good. But this time, it's, it's still... It's, it's made out of rose gold. 18 karat rose gold. And it's brushed. So it looks... The, the attention to detail on it is immaculate. This bezel on top... As you can already tell, it's a diver's watch. FYI, if you didn't know, now you know. Um, it's a diverse watch, and um, I am—I don't even know how to express this. But the the the, the bezel has the bezel is made out of rose gold itself, but it has rubber. It's rubberized on the top to give it like a different feel to it. It's it's you can only tell if you touch it in person. I cannot express it on video. The unique thing about this watch is when you buy this watch it doesn't come in doesn't come in like this. So you see these grooves over here on both of the sides. They both are really long and when you buy this watch the this clasp is not attached to the watch. So what they do is when you buy the watch they Measure your wrist and then cut down the belt as per your wrist. So it's basically customized to your wrist. And if God for sake you have to sell the watch, the guy who ends up buying it, only if he has a wrist that's similar to your size, to your to the, to the size of your wrist, he doesn't have to buy a new new belt. But if he doesn't, he has to has to buy a new belt. Which is I, I don't think they're that expensive, but this vulcanized rubber is pretty is is a very premium rubber. Like you can I, I could you could feel the rubber and could tell that it's a premium quality rubber. Also, these links that you see on both of these both of both sides of the watch, that's like um, the that's the trademark of Yulsi Narden. What Yulsi Narden as a company. All the watches of Yulsi Narden have these two links on both of their sides. Basically, it is a diver's watch, but I would not wear it while diving. Not because of the fact that <laughs> I don't know how to swim, but also because of the fact that I feel it would ruin the the, the sodium slash salt in the water would ruin the the cold on it or would just corrode it. I don't know. I'm just fearful about it. So I would not use it while diving, but personally I could see a ship's captain wearing watches like this. Because first of all, Yulsi Narden um, used to make um, marine chronographs back in the days 
And still today, if you have a marine chronograph on your hand and it's used in Norden, they would service it for free and uh, give you back in uh, delivery slash new condition. It's a pretty, pretty hefty watch, like it's got a ton of more weight to it. As compared to my AP, this is heavier, obviously. The clasp, these two ends of the clasp are made out of rose gold and this middle section is made out of brushed, brushed, no, but um, yeah, it is brushed, brushed titanium. So whenever you close the hatch, close the latch, not the hatch, but close the latch, it's a pretty rugged feeling. Then we have the crown to set up the time. As you can already tell, the watch is an automatic. Just like my all, all of my other watches, it's an automatic. There is one crown to set the time and the day. And there is a pop-out lad for it to give it like a theatrical effect to show that it's dedicated to the marine people or people who sail a lot or are on water a lot and the other crown is basically to wind the watch before you go diving to pressure to pressurize the watch to pressure lock the watch so that water doesn't get in it. it's obviously a thousand meter water resistance FYI I mean it goes without saying it's a marine watch it's, it has to be a water resistance up to a certain amount of depth but anyways this is this watch I I would wear this watch only when I have like certain occasions like I, like last time I wore this watch it was my birthday it was my 21st birthday and I would only wear it on occasions it's not a day to day watch I mean it's, it's got a pretty it's pretty heavy and it's got a pretty much it's got so much weight on it on its hand and uh, if I compare it to my Richard Mule, this is made out of carbon fiber, so this is what a weight of this watch, but this is that heavy. But anyways, if you like my watch reviews or watch talks, keep coming, keep letting me know. I'll make watch talk, I'll make videos about watches, not just my watches, the watches that my friends own, everything. I will keep them coming. If you guys like like content like this. I will keep making them. But until then, thank you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Share it with your friends and family. If you like content like this, please let me know in the comment section. Reach me out on Instagram. There's my shameless plugs, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever you want to do. And I just want to end this with one note that I think we are almost there with the virus. Fingers crossed, nothing goes bad, and just a little bit more time, and we will be free to go. That's all I got to say. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Ciao.